Hi, welcome to Happy Tales. I'm Cheryl Rosenthal, Communications Coordinator here at the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. And I'm the Executive Director, Joni Geiger. And today we're going to be talking about enrichment and enrichment for dogs and enrichment for cats right. and things that you can do for your pets at home but more importantly to give people an idea what kind of enrichment do we provide for the animals while they're here at the shelter. Um, it's very important because of the stress associated with animals being in a humane society or in an animal shelter that uh, we address that issue of stress. Right. The, the number one thing I think Cheryl that we deal with on a regular basis when we have animals here is obviously uh, stress and boredom and you know you have to remember it's not it's not natural to keep a, a cat or a dog in a confined area 24 7 so we have to deal with that on a regular basis and and there's some really really neat clever things that um, shelters are currently doing it's called an enrichment program and what people can also do at home but it does improve the quality of life it allows these dogs and cats that we're meeting their needs, we're doing the things that, that um, we need to do in order to take care of them and to make sure that they're living well here. Right, so. and it isn't just while they're in the shelter, it's also important that there's enrichment after they go home. Right. And I think a lot of times we take home a pet and we play with them and we're really into being with that pet and then as the pet becomes more comfortable in its environment and we go back to our, we kind of get in a set routine mm -hmm. and we think, oh well, it's not necessary for us to play anymore. We don't provide that enrichment any longer. Or we have too many rainy days in a row and we don't go for a walk. Right. Or we don't go to the dog park. Sure. Or maybe we have uh, a bad experience taking a walk and we decide not to do that. So it is very important that um, we continue you know, it's, it's just like with people. If you sure. continue to be active and exercise, you're going to be healthier, stronger. Um, and animals at home, a lot of people are working, mm -hmm. which we have latchkey animals. Right. Uh, right. They're home alone. Absolutely. They're bored. Right. And I can't tell you how many times I hear from uh, cat owners calling about, you know, problems that they're having with their cat. My cat intentionally walks across the shelf and knocks things off. Well, do you play with your cat? Mm -hmm and they'll say well they've got lots of toys to play with it's not the same as having someone to play with it's even different than having another cat to play with right cat to cat you know they can play together all day when you come home it's like wow let's play a game and sure. we're too busy making supper doing laundry reading the paper whatever we do so it's important that we enrich their lives for cats um, by providing a scratching outlet um, sure. The sisal rope uh, is wonderful because hopefully you don't have anything else in your house that's covered with rope. Sure. They seem to like the consistency of that and will scratch on that rather than your furniture. Tall enough to climb, sit right. on, have some activity. Nice stretch. Um, yep. This is a favorite at my house. Uh, it's called a busy box and um, you can put lots of different toys in here. What I also do is I put um, treats in here mm -hmm. and my cats can stick their little paws in there and try to get the balls out and the the biggest challenge for me is that I have to go on the ball hunt um, <laughs> <laughs> because they knock all the little balls out and then they bat them all around the house um, and they they disappear uh, but this is a really great thing to give and I put it away when I'm home like on weekends I put this away and I only bring it out during the week and I put balls and treats and different things in it. One of the things people need to be careful with are toys like this that they leave laying around, mm -hmm. uh, little strings or if they have yarn. You don't want to leave these kind of things out for your pet. Um, cats have those little barbs on their tongue mm -hmm. and they can get that caught in their mouth. Um, something else that they can bat around, they can try to figure out how to get the ball out of here and you'll never get the ball out of here but they don't know that. Where you're, When you're there Interaction toys, the cute little feather dancer. You can go fishing. You can put this in your back pocket and walk through the house and have your cat chase you. You don't even have, you can be watching the television and doing this with your cat and your cat will think, oh, you're wonderful, play with me. Uh, the ultimate uh, lazy man's play toy, this works for cats <laughs> and dogs. Uh, it's very important, this is a laser pointer. And it's very important, Joni, that people don't shine this in their pet's eye. Correct. Uh, you want to make sure that you keep it down, and you and it may not show really well here in the in the light, with the bright lights. Little red dot, and you can kind of 
play with that. You can move it as fast or as slow as you want and your cat will chase I, it. I will tell you, I use a laser light at home and honestly, I, I have to hang it up high because if I don't, my cats will get to it. But I can just reach for it and my cats are on alert and just they're just the like ready. Yep, it's the and, sound. It's, and it's amazing to me that they, they enjoy this so much. And so... Great aerobic exercise for oh, anybody who absolutely. has young cats. They, if you think about cats in the wild, and cats are the closest to their wild ancestors of any of our domesticated animals. Sure. They spend 80% of their time hunting. So if they don't have anything to do in a house, they're bored. So another thing you can do is hide some of their food. Now you're not gonna hide their food where you don't want them to go, right. but you could, uh, they have some Kong toys for cats that you can stuff sure. with food, or put a piece of food on a windowsill, or in a cat bed, or put pieces of food in here. It's, Again, a, it's great mental stimulation, right. and that's really, really important. Um, right, and the cats aerobic. Need that. They need that burst of aerobic exercise. Right. You know how when we exercise, we're told to warm up and do your stretching, mm -hmm. and then you do your you know high speed, and then you do a cool down. And people should do those same things when they're using an interaction toy. The reason we suggest putting an interaction toy away mm -hmm. is that if these things are out all the time, your cat's going to go, oh, I'm playing with that. Right. It gets boring. It's I mean, boring. It's like so after a while. So, so you're absolutely right. So I, I think, again, if we can just wrap up on this, and we're just going to kind of um, gather the thoughts together and just say how important it really is. Continue to play with your cat. I mean, it isn't just about play it's about meeting their needs cats as you, these are cats um, right. these are not little furry people these are cats and they need to have obviously mental s stimulation physical stimulation and they need the interaction of of their person right and you know if i were a cat i'd sleep all the time too if nobody took the time to right. play with me right and if you play with your cat um i had a cat that lived to be 17 and a half until the day he passed away he played because right. I played with him, right. and even though we had other animals or other cats right. to play with, his highlight of the day was to interact with sure. me. Let, now let's talk about our, our cat tower, okay? Okay. Okay, well this is um, our... our uh, One of our cat trees our that cat we have for sale <laughs> uh, here at the shelter. Um, and what is really nice about having something like this in your home is it keeps your cat or cats off your furniture mm -hmm. somewhat. Mm -hmm. They see this as their own. Gives them something to do. Again, you can hide, put treats on here, uh, interaction toys. Uh, you can play around this to encourage scratching on here. Sure, lots of different levels. Yep, different meets. levels, because that helps uh, reduce the stress level for cats in the home, right. especially if there's multiple cats. And you know, Joni, having different stress busters, having the interaction play, having the appropriate toys, People don't think that their cats at home are under stress, but they are. They're, sure. they're very good at hiding that, you know, something's bothering me. Mm -hmm. And if cats don't have an outlet for their stress, just like you and I, there are some issues that can arise out of this. Um, in cats, it can manifest into behavioral issues, sure. whether it be aggression. Uh, sometimes if you don't play with your cat enough uh, or have enough stimulation for your cat, he may decide that when you jump out of the shower, would you step out of the shower, ooh, good time to attack a leg. Um, <laughs> or, you know, chase, sure. you know, sure. chase you down the hall or, you know, so you want to make sure that you're doing these things, not just because your cat is bored, but because it helps stimulate and hopefully it, prevent some behavioral issues down the road. Absolutely. It's, it, we talked about this before, but it's good mental stimulation. It really does help to reduce stress and boredom. And anybody who, you know, um, has experienced any kind of stress, you know what that can do to you physically. You know what that can do, you know, just from an emotional perspective. Right. So well, animals get stressed. Right. And I think too, as we, you know, we've just gone through the winter mm -hmm. and I don't know about you, but I haven't been, I know you always walk your dogs. Um, but I don't exercise a lot in the winter, but as the weather gets nicer, I get more energized and mm -hmm. I want to be out there sure. doing things. And I, just like animals, when we start moving around and doing things, we feel that health benefit. We feel better. We're sure. more awake. We're more alert. And the same is true with our pets. Sure. Um, it's, it's a really, has a really positive impact. Right. And, and that's why it's so important that we have volunteers that come to the shelter and interact and do all these things with our cats here at the Humane Society right. while they're here. 
Um, it helps them remain, you know, really into people and used to that human touch. Right. But it also is a great stress buster while they're sure. here at the shelter. Well, let's let's go on now, Cheryl, and let's let's talk about the dogs and let's talk about how we can enrich their lives as okay, well. Okay, sounds okay. good. Great.